Sherlock Holmes, your brother Mycroft sent his regards. Oh, how touching. Perhaps one day he'll do it in person. Look, I just tell you what they tell me. And you've done it admirably. Good show. I'm confident that with a bit of effort, one day you might even send regards to the King himself. Goodbye. Wait, no. I haven't told you yet. Of course, let me guess. Mission, urgent, fate of the nation, etc. Mycroft busy with his tea parties, is he? Right. So, one of our agents has been involved in an accident and can't send us the confidential document she's obtained. We need you to go and ensure the job is completed. So, yes, urgent mission, fate of the nation. So, Mycroft needs another errand boy. And you are presumably too incompetent? Oh, don't give me that look. I'll go and check on your agent. Send Mycroft my regards. The details are in this note, Mr. Holmes. If I were you, I'd start to take this more seriously. Lives are at stake. Nothing ever changes. I'm pulled back and forth between my brothers playing all their silly games. Hey, at least mine are fun. Don't you have an assignment to work on? Are you able to help me? I'd help you, friend, but I know nothing. Sir, what do you think you're doing? Officer. Oh, I know you. You're the clever chap that cracked that Palazzo del Luzzo case, eh? Uh, presuming there has not been another murder since, then yes, it is I. I'm here to investigate the accident. You don't mind if I examine the scene? You're too late. Case closed. It was no accident. The rickshaw driver deliberately ran that poor woman over, and I'm taking him into custody. Oh, well, if that's the case, then my examination of the scene can hardly interfere with your brilliant work, Officer Huxley. Well, if you want to play detective, go ahead. But stay away from my business, all right? An impact to the back of the head caused severe damage. Her death was probably instant. Cordona's true horror revealed. Behold, the killer curb. This pendant looks like it may contain something. Let's see. Takes two to tango. I'll find a use for it. <laughs> the dress looks generally neat and tidy. Any staining must have been from the accident. Cleaning the houses of rich men by day and preserving England's secrets by night. My friend, you know you're in trouble, right? But all this can go away for a small fee. Damn crooked cops. Come on, concentrate, so we can stop him before he arrests the driver. Always take care when walking beneath balconies. I didn't see her, I swear. She came out of nowhere. I heard someone collide with my car, but when I turned around, she was lying there dead.
From the position of the body, we can deduce that Mycroft's agent walks down the street from the east. The rickshaw's tracks show that the vehicle was coming from the south. The rickshaw gained speed down the slope of the road and was going too fast to stop for a pedestrian. But Sherry, it would be impossible to miss a rickshaw speeding downhill. It was as fast as a racehorse. Unless something distracts you. A sudden loud noise caught the agent's attention and they stepped into the road without looking. It was all an accident. John, no one is immune to chance. Such synchrony of events would be very difficult to contrive artificially. No such thing as coincidence. I bet there's a killer mastermind behind this. Or a team of killers. Ooh, a secret global rickshaw conspiracy. Upon examination of the scene, I have concluded that the smash of the flower pot distracted the woman. She didn't notice the oncoming rickshaw. After stepping into its path, she was knocked to the ground and died after hitting her head on the curb. It was most likely an accident. Oh, that's just your imagination. The facts say otherwise. Well, fact, there are no wheel tracks on the woman's body, so the rickshaw could not have run over her. Fact. You are blackmailing an innocent man. Didn't I tell you to stay out of my business? You're lucky there's a crowd. So the man can go free. Oh, thank you, Officer Huxley, for your excellent decision. All right. The ritual puller can leave, but he better not show his face again. That goes twice for you, Mr. White Knight. Goodbye, sir. I'm glad you didn't leave that poor chap alone. The truth must be told, even if it damns as often as it saves. Today it spared a driver and denounced an officer. Tomorrow, perhaps the opposite. Thank you, sir. This policeman would have never let me go if you hadn't intervened. Did you hear about the vigilante in Cordona? It was me that locked him up. That means I can lock you up, too.
Merhaba. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I don't know about that, but people here should know more. So, what have we learned today? Don't let anyone take you for a ride. One bed, one table, and one horrible scent of decay which someone tried to cover with perfume. A typical safe house for my cross spies. I've always wanted to try something new. Fake passports. I guess nothing is a crime if you're working for the Crown. Reminds me of the mess in your room, John. Being a secret agent isn't easy. Whoever broke in clearly does not appreciate lockpicks. The documents may have been stowed in here, but they're gone now. A brand new model. I must say, perfectly maintained. She took good care of it. Ugh, the espionage life where at any moment you could die. Of boredom. A brute force intrusion rather than a stealthy sneak-in. The wax is still warm. Primitive, but efficient at breaking windows. Sloppy work. Unprofessional. Someone was in a hurry. Mycroft's documents were stolen. The thief entered through the broken window not long ago. What are we waiting for? Let's search the backyard and track him down. They were in such a hurry that they cut themselves. They injured themselves pretty seriously. Look at the amount of blood. Does it mean they were waiting here for something? The police patrol schedule sends officers along here regularly. Our thief wasn't waiting. They were hiding. The blood trail stops here. They must have finally bandaged the wound. Oh, 
Men are always in a hurry, and women always pay the consequences. The thief must be somewhere around here. I can almost smell him. Do you know anything about this? A lady doesn't know about such things. Piece of advice. Next time you try to steal from an agent of the United Kingdom, don't leave a trail of blood behind you. Try using a lockpick. So it seems this is it. You found me. And now I have no choice. No choice at all. He told me to give you this letter. So where are the documents, and who is he? Huh. Piece of advice. When someone tells you to mind your own business, listen. Oh, Sherry. What horror could he have been facing that suicide was the better option? It's a grim augury indeed. There's something bigger brewing, John. We should inspect the poor man for any leads. What did you get yourself into? Oh, Sherry! He just... Damn! <sighs> he managed to bandage the wound properly. A strange act of self-preservation for a man on his way to suicide. <laughs> Expensive clothes. Pretty worn out, though. <laughs> a family insignia. Typical nobleman fashion. Old and made of silver. Not expensive, but might be an heirloom. Take a photo of this poor bugger. Better to give Mycroft something rather than nothing. Poor chap. I suppose it may help in understanding the situation. Does it look remotely familiar to you? Excuse me, just one question. My dear fellow, you're talking to the right man.
Alas, that's a terrible blow for the office. I'd better pass on your report immediately. Thank you for your service. The accident doesn't look so accidental anymore, does it? I think you might be right, John. I feel like someone is leading us by the nose. First time I've encountered such a devious mind. I suspect the last. <laughs> 